Hi, I'm Deb. Hi, I'm Kristen. And we're going to show you today on, we're from the Fulton County Public Library, and we are going to show you how to make a Valent, um, St. Patty's Day candy bouquet. The first thing we did was you get any type of jar, glass container, make sure it's clean. We took cellophane. You can buy these at the um, any Dollar Tree. They're cheaper. Take your cellophane, put your finger in the middle, turn it upside down, grab it, and as you can see, what Kristen's already done, we put candy in the bottom, and then she just we just pound the cellophane down in the middle to make a bow, to make a bouquet. Now comes the fun part, <laughs> making the candy for the bouquet. What you're going to need is some sticks. You can also use bamboo skewers. And Kristen's already got a couple here done. And you're just going to attach your stick. And we're using these little cutouts. They're like in a package less than a dollar. We glued it on the back and now we're going to glue the candy to the front. I'll let you do that. And you turn it upside down and hold. Remember using a glue gun. It's hot. And I might suggest with your candy to make sure your candy is fully Covered. You don't want any chocolate showing. Last thing you want to do is eat glue from the glue gun. And you're going to start filling up your candy bouquet. These are fake little coins. You can use chocolate candy coins if you'd like. I couldn't find them at this time, so we just decided to use the fake little gold coins. Good luck doesn't hurt. <laughs> All you do is slap some glue on it. Remember it's hot. Put it on there, let it set a few minutes, and you're gonna start filling up your candy bouquet. If these are too long, you'll notice we got two long ones in the front. You're gonna want some shorter ones. They break very easy. Snap them. Doesn't matter the size. The snap part that you want, that you broke, put that down. You don't want that sticking up. And the fun part is just filling up. We've got gum. The main thing is to get your colors. We wanted to use all green, so this is why we went this way. Slap it on there. You notice they have these right now for Valentine's Day at the stores and they're $15 to $20. Um, I think we haven't spent maybe $0.50, cents, $0.60 cents on one of these bouquets just by doing it this way. And you're just going to, basically you're going to shove in and you're just going to keep shoving in until your little, until it's tight. Good. Get it in there and turn. Basically, you're going to fill and fill. I'm going to do another. Sure. I'm going to do a light green one. Let's do some. We need all the luck we can get sometimes. Mm. And I do this backwards. I'm always putting the candy on first. <laughs> that way, I don't eat it. <laughs> I'll let you attach the other one. You can cut out paper. I just happened to find these and they're a reasonable price so I bought them, but you can cut out paper shamrocks. Yeah. I can't do it as well as you. No, just, just shove it down in there until it's nice and tight. You're gonna notice this is getting nice and tight. And then you're just really gonna play with it. 
until you, oh, he attached himself, that's okay. Basically, that's all you're gonna do, and you're just, until this is, this is nice and tight, so you can fluff it up. And we have several ribbons. You could actually tie a ribbon on it, decorate it. And we just used, and you'll notice right now, we use green. Get it at Christmas time. When you guys see ribbons and stuff at Christmas time, buy all the colors for the year because pink, red for Valentine's Day, green for St. Patty's Day, spring, the summer colors, and you've got a cheap, less than 50 cents candy bouquet.